Hey, fatty! This is the Metaflex diet carb front loading strategy versus standard carb back loading. Let's begin. So with the Metaflex diet, it's a two meal a day diet. Two fucking meals. You don't push the first meal. The first meal's got all your carbs. Now you can fuck around with your carb volume. I don't care if you go low carb. The whole point is you want the sustainability as high as fucking possible. As soon as you go to two meal a day where they're both zero carb, the sustainability drops to the fucking floor. So as soon as you throw carbs in the first meal, all of a sudden the diet is easy as fuck. So the first meal, you don't push the meal. You front load the carbs, you eat the first meal right away. The first meal doesn't have to be a pig fest, a regular size fucking breakfast. It's nothing new, fuck, it's breakfast. Fuck. Doesn't have to be a 2,000 calorie fucking breakfast, you fucking idiots. Can't have regular fucking breakfast, some meat and some fucking potatoes or some meat and some oatmeal or fuck whatever. Okay, if you're trying to tighten it up to get ripped, you clean up the breakfast. The breakfast would be a low fat breakfast with a decent amount of protein and some fucking carbs. Some starch and maybe some fruit. Get in some snake juice on the food. Drink snake juice during the day. The reason I always say to put snake juice on the food. Because food shuttles the salt perfectly. Plus you can drink the snake juice. Especially if you're training hard. And sweating like a pig. It's the whole point of this. You can fucking work hard on this diet. Get your carb front loading at breakfast. Nothing fucking new. It's fucking breakfast motherfucker. Then you fast all day and you push the second meal as late as possible. The second meal has to be zero fucking carb. It's all point. You fucking load your carbs in the morning. You dump all your activity on these fucking carbs and this fucking protein that you ate. So you have a fucking dairy of energy all fucking day. High energy, not just mediocre bullshit fasted energy. High fucking energy where you have crazy work capacity and you burn more calories because of this during the day because you can do more okay you're running hotter you're hotter because you ate breakfast and you ate some fucking carbs you got more fucking blood flow you're gonna have way better pumps in the fucking gym fuck then late in the evening you eat a zero carb fucking meal okay straight meat if you want to fucking start adding some zero fucking calorie vegetables in there, I don't give a shit. Okay, but at the start, if you want to make it simple as fuck, I just do straight meat. Okay, if you want to really dial it in, it's two fucking meal a day. It's easy as fuck to count the calories. That's how you dial it in. You weigh yourself every fucking day. You can weigh yourself in the morning or before the second meal, depending how low you're getting on the food, because your lowest weight might be before you eat that second meal. Depending on the spread between those two meals. For example, I ate my first meal at 4 a.m. today. 4 a.m. Second meal I might eat at 10 p.m. Look at that fucking fast, you fucking idiots. Fuck. Look at the length of that fast, even though it's going to happen in the middle of the day. Fucking 18 hours. Because of the space between the fucking meals, because it's two fucking meals. Fuck. Don't push the breakfast forward. You fucking just eat breakfast at fucking breakfast time. Then the second meal, you push that fucking fast. That's why if that breakfast is a normal size meal and you end up fasting for fucking 12, 14, 16, 18 hours, you're going to be pretty fucking empty by the time you eat that second fucking meal. That might be your lightest weight on the day. Regardless, be consistent with the scale. Weigh yourself the same time each day. Okay, use the scale to fine tune the fucking calories. If you really want to dial it in, you would fucking count the calories. Now, to debunk a bullshit fucking argument that idiots just can't get through their fucking head, you will lose more fucking body fat eating two meals a fucking day when one of those meals is right in the morning and the other one's at night versus one meal a day, calories equated, exact same fucking food. You'll lose more weight on the two meal a day diet. Why? Because you're fucking eating a bunch of the fucking food in the morning. You're eating half the calories in the fucking morning and all the carbs. So you're running hotter all day. So the same amount of fucking food as your OMAD diet at night. But you're running way hotter and you're burning way more fucking energy all day. Fuck. 
It's not rocket science, idiot. One meal a day is an excellent diet for fat pigs to lose weight because it's a way to control the calories. As far as the nature of the diet, calories equated, you don't burn any more body fat eating one big fucking meal at night as you would fucking front loading the food in the day. Are you fucking stupid? Your body's way hotter. You're burning way more fucking calories. You got way more work capacity when you've ate breakfast. Assuming the fucking calories were exactly the same and it was the same food. OMAD is a great diet for fat pigs because the structure is strict. But if you actually lay it out, which diet will burn more calories? It's going to be a diet where you start eating earlier in the fucking day. Front loading food will always get the best fucking results. Calories equated as far as fucking fat burn. Simple as that. Fuck. If you take your fucking one meal a day diet at night and broke it into two meals and you throw all the carbs in the morning and go zero carb at night, you're going to get a better fucking result. You got more fucking energy, you fucking idiot. Fuck. That's why. That is why. That's the difference between carb front loading and carb back loading. When you carb front load, you're actually burning them right away. When you carb back load, you're holding on to all these carbs. You're spiking the shit out of your insulin at night and doing nothing on the food? It never was an optimal way to do it, ever. It's convenient for you fat pigs. But I'll tell you right now, you fucking go zero carb at night, you know how much better of a chance you have to not eat like a fucking pig? Because a lot of people, when they do even OMAD, which is complete backloading of all the food, they fucking end up stretching the fucking eating window all fucking night. Fuck. When you eat that first meal at breakfast time, you actually eat a normal amount of food. You're not all settled in. You're not all settled in to have a big fucking pig fest at night because you're still on the go because your day's just starting. It's like eat and go. And then nighttime, because you're going zero carb, you're not overly looking forward to that meal. You're just getting it in, taking the hunger off, and going to fucking bed. That's the difference, you fat pigs. Carb front loading is superior to carb back loading. You're always going to have better performance and get a better result with body composition if you front load more of the calories in the beginning of the fucking day. Until next time, stop fucking eating, fatty.